if you live in the Middle East for long enough, um, or at least in Egypt long enough, then you'll spend a lot of time talking about sexual harassment if you're an American, because like it's that. It's like every single day, <laughs> if you're near a woman, <laughs> then you're going to hear sexual harassment. If you're friends with women, then you're going to hear sexual harassment. Probably my best friend while I was in Egypt was a woman. Um, she ended up go going to Harvard later. And I'm just saying, like, I, like, when you're friends with a woman, then you're going to have to walk with a woman. And if you walk with a woman, then she's going to get yelled at. Um, so you spend a lot of time talking about sexual harassment if you live in Egypt and what they'll t what people will tell you that have traveled the world a lot is Pakistan is like awful for sexual harassment like in Pakistan um, it's even worse than Egypt that's what I've heard I've heard Morocco's bad too Pakistan's the worst so um, let's think about this here does a society that harasses women in mass um do they have something about them yeah they don't respect women they don't like women very much like they might like them um because they they want to have sex with them or <laughs> unless they're in high school they'll only try to do you in the butt no um in, in, in the middle east like a lot of girls do it in the butt because they can't not be virgin they don't want to be slut <laughs> just screw me in the ass so that i'm not a slut all right so uh sorry for the aside anyways uh, I, i'm not actually i'm not joking about this this is, this is actually true it's a very common thing for women to like oh, how many guys have you done in the butt <laughs> that's what I'd, I'd want to know like if i'm gonna marry you and i'm a very serious muslim I, I want you to be a virgin can you also tell me how many guys you've done in the butt or that you've had that you've had do you in the butt and then they would say you're never gonna marry me now <laughs> Oh gosh, my butt number is in the triple digits. My sex number is zero. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> that could happen. Anyways, so um, what I was actually talking about is sexual sexual harassment in Pakistan and the culture of um, misogynist misogynism, if that's a word, is misogynism a word? Uh, a culture made up of misogynists in Pakistan um, uh, is who like really controls everything in Pakistan. So when um, Pakistan's super happy about the Taliban and, and you listen to what Imran Khan said and he's like, oh, this is the greatest moment in history. The other people who sexually harass women everywhere, they get to be in charge, which I don't know if the Taliban's like that. Um, I know like a lot of the like very religious Muslims tend to not be like that. Um, very religious Muslims have extreme morals. Very religious Muslims um, will, would never steal. Like, and that, that's the thing, you, you, you have to worry less about people stealing from you in Egypt, in a poor, in a relatively poor country, than in the United States, but it's just like socially acceptable to sexually harass women everywhere. And I, I have a feeling Pakistan might be like that. I'm not 100% sure because Pakistan is that poor. Like, I've, I've, I've talked to Indians who, like, are from, like, or I talked to an Indian guy from Calcutta, and he was like, dude, Karachi is poorer than Calcutta. And I, for me, I always think Calcutta is, like, such a poor place because of Mother, Mother Teresa. Anyways, Calcutta's in India. It's, like, kind of near um, Nepalish. Not really. I don't really know. I have no idea where it is. Anyways, so it's a state in India. All right, so all I'm saying is that um, Imran Khan, chances are, is a massive misogynist and he really does not like women and that's like, I mean, a lot of the time, like, cultures trickle down from the leaders and so these um, religious nuts in Jalalabad who are the elders or whatever who basically sold out the city or sold out the city to the Taliban and really started, like, all the problems... Um, with, with, with like imports through the border because they control the border now um, because no one fought at the border none of the police fought the Taliban um, and they and chances are these guys took a bribe um, they're probably misogynist too and I'm just saying that like when we're when I think that the Taliban's not going to stay in control because I think that the general population actually wants to have uh, strong futures for their children, like especially their daughters, uh, because they know that that Sharia is anti-women. They know it um, because they're not stupid. 
because they read the Quran more than me. I read it once. They read it all the time. The Quran for me was like two years of my life. So all I'm saying is, um, um, I think that um, I might be overestimating uh, how much um, the general population in Afghanistan uh, cares about their women um, because um, some of them might even think that um, it's better to follow Sharia no matter what and that um, that their daughters really just shouldn't have as much money as their sons because the sons should be in charge. 